Welcome back, everybody, to some more P5R. I'm your host, The Musical Gamer, and we are still in Maruki's Palace. We are uh, making some good headway, though. At least we got that going for us. We've made it to the research ward, the second floor, and we're going to explore some of these buildings. Because uh, that room right over there has probably another crucial piece of info for us. As to uh, the inner machinations of Maruki's mind. Which, uh, hopefully, we do get to see soon. Oop, hello, oh, yes. you. you uh, you're actually blue. I should... Mm. I sh yeah, I should probably take you out. All right, well, right off the I'll bat, distraction the taken care of, and, uh, ooh. Why, thank you, Futaba. I appreciate the fact oh, that you replenish those things, because that means I can loot this place even more. Works for me. Does indeed. Uh, do we want to... Mm. Let's, uh, let's just keep going this way. I don't want to double back quite yet. Just want to see where the hell this goes to. Your true form. Ooh, hello, fusion alarm. Ooh, okay. This might be a good opportunity. We can find another safe room soon to, uh, actually... Nope. Oh, oh, close. Oh, I thought he was going to be green. I was wrong. What we got here? Oh, it's another one of you guys, huh? Hey, sir. This, uh, this fight actually isn't too bad. Though you do... You do evade physical, so Yoshitsune, unfortunately, is not that helpful here. Though, I guess we do have Z... D d never mind. Never mind. Never friggin' mind. you might get shot. Holy challenge. crap, man. Uh, hey, okay, on. even at Zeodyne is super powerful. I mean, as long as we start with that, like, charge right. effect. Holy crap, can we do a lot of damage on that first that turn? Easy battle. That is nuts. Yoshitsune, you are a friggin' bro, man. God, I love you. Why have I never fused you before in any playthrough? Oh, you are broken as all hell. I think it's even worse in this game because we have these uh, passive abilities. Not in oh. B5 Vanilla. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, we'll see. Ah, I see over here. Wait, I, you, how do, okay, then how do we get to the will seed game? Is there like a way to drop to it from above? I mean, there could be. I guess we'll just have to keep going. Hello there, sir. Goodbye there, sir. Thank you for playing. Uh, same with you. Tall, dark, and creepy. Ooh, another locked door. Oh. Oh, look, another one of those doors. Deja v Deja effing vu. You could have let him say fuck. What do you want to do? Might as well check it out for now, right? Well, alright. What's the, uh, question this time? What was the missing... Or what was missing that caused the research into cognitive science to be shut down? E yeah. yeah. Uh, I got no clue. Again. Guessing the answer to a question this specific is pretty tough. I don't know what we'd even guess. What if we go check out that room Oracle Senpai pointed out to us? Oracle Senpai. God, everybody is Senpai to you, Sumi. Maybe we'll find the answer or some kind of hint in there. Yeah, yes. that's the idea. Uh, though, I think I can guess as to what this was going to be. It's going to be about the funding, isn't it? That was indeed what was missing. It caused everything to just sort of crumble. He lost everything because of that. At least that's, uh, that's what I think would be the case. Oh, hello. That's a, that staircase goes all the way down from the bottom floor. All right, hold on. Let's go down here. Aha! Well, wait. What? Is, what's in this room? Just a, uh... I can feel it. Just a thing. Just a thing. Well, actually, wait. No, no, no. I can't see the other room from here. Hmm. Very interesting. Ooh, and, uh, this is the way in. I almost ran right past here. Now, hold on, let's just unlock this door. Actually, before we even do this, I just want to check that room we passed up on. What the hell is through here? I can feel it. Uh, hello? I'll reveal Boop! Your true form. Hey, Sumi, level 90. Oh, treasure, gotcha. Okay, that's fair. Three relaxed gels. I will uh, gladly take that. It's not a bad get. All right, room. What do we got here? Another video. Like the one we watched before. I don't like the idea of spying on somebody's past. But we clearly don't have a choice in the matter. Watching this is our ticket forward, then I guess that's what we're doing. Damn it! Just hearing it from you's pissing me off. You've come so far. What problem could they possibly have now? I tried negotiating in person with the professor and the investors. 
but they simply wouldn't listen. Due to the lack of concrete evidence, all further research and funding in the field of cognitive science will cease. <sighs> they told me it's already over and done with. But why now, of all times? When they first saw my paper, they were positively beaming with excitement. And the research lab in Odaiba? They're not going through with that anymore? Yep. <sighs> Damn it. To hell with their concrete evidence. How are we supposed to get any evidence if we can't perform the research first? If we can change the cognition of trauma victims, their suffering can be eliminated. Who knows how many people could be saved with this research? How much more obvious could its benefits be? So, do you really think the lack of evidence is the reason they shut it all down? <sighs> it makes absolutely no sense to me. After all the time and money spent, to just cut off my research because it wasn't all proven sound immediately. Even if that was the result of some kind of conspiracy, what could I do about it? It's not like I have any proof. I see. So, what are you gonna do now? The sponsors have backed out, so I doubt the college is gonna let you keep using their labs. I'm done with that college. They have nothing for me at this point. I'll look for work elsewhere while I keep fleshing out that research paper. Eventually, I'll prove the existence of the cognitive world. Once I've done that, no one will be able to complain. Rumi, I swear I'm going to do it. I have the power now. It cost me my life with you. So I'm going to rescue everyone from their pain. I don't care how long it takes me. It's going to happen. So I was right, it is about the funding. So that was another of Dr. Maruki's memories? Yes, I believe so. It seemed to be a much more recent memory than the first one we saw, though. His research was cut off. So after the incident with his girlfriend, he progressed in his research to harness cognitive science as a healing practice. However, his research was shut down and his career along with it. Yeah, kind of does suck when you think about All it. All he had left was his resolve to prove his research valid, then use it to save people. That seems to be the message delivered by the videos we found. Yeah, it does seem to be. Dream, to use his research to save people here. If that sounds good to you, would you prefer we just turn around and go home? Did I stutter? I'm here for the long haul, a catchy boy. Don't make me call that you pancakes. That isn't an option. Yeah, what she says. If anything, we've got to pull out all the stops to win this one. Well, the vote was unanimous. Yeah, we're all here for a very specific reason. Ah, oh, jeez. Poor Marky. God, if only he didn't go so megalomaniac with the whole thing. Maybe it could have worked out. But that much power in one person's hand, that is a recipe for disaster. All right, how the hell? Oh, right, we could just like walk back through here. Uh, the question is though, is do we want to maybe go back to the velvet room? I wouldn't mind trying to get like another piece of ultimate equipment. You know what? I kind of like that idea. Let's actually just uh, ski daddle back on over to the velvet room and make ourselves another, oh, come on. <laughs> make ourselves another piece of uh, good equipment with the uh, with the fusion alarm going on right now. This is This is the best time to do so. So let's see who we can uh, fuse away this time. We're gearing up for the final fight, so we need to make it as much advantage of these fusion alarms as possible. Eventually, we'll probably stop getting them in this dungeon. I imagine we might be able to see one or two more trigger after this one. I, I don't think I've seen more than maybe I've three. Been waiting for you. The companion is registering. A Would you like to register? Yes, yeah, so all of this is fine. We'll register everybody. Please be aware that let us aim for greater right. heights. Uh, we do not need you. We could go for Haru's new weapon. We could also go for Haru's new gun. Or this you is should a stronger say, version this actually because of the not alarm. Be a bad idea. It's low accuracy though. That's the only thing that makes me kind of look at this that and is go. This a stronger eh. version because of the this alarm. This is going to be a really good gun though. High burn, high shock. Uh, with all of this extra boosted attack. You know what? Yes. Let's get Haru her new grenade launcher. So goodbye, ball. Thank you for uh, thank you for playing. And let's think about this. 
Do we want to maybe try to this go is a stronger for version because of the alarm. Who's better weapon as well? Maybe this might work. Uh, odds are it won't though, so we'll have to resummon Beelzebub anyway. Yep, nope, didn't work. <laughs> eh, oops. Well, not much we can do about that. Time to watch Lavenza shock the crap out of herself again. Oh, this poor girl. I'm putting her through so much pain and torture. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that face. That face is just awful. Fortify Spear. You, you know, that's actually not a bad one to pick up. Not not really. It's, it's, it's pretty decent. Okay. Hold on. We need to get we need to get uh Belzy back. BLZ. We need to get Bubby back. Bubby. Bubby the persona. <laughs> God, what is wrong with me? Alright, where where's that compendium? Welcome. Thank you. Velvet you room. The entries. Uh yeah, if we just go straight to like level here. Wait, no, no, no. That's the wrong button. There we go. Uh you should be right around here. If you wish to summon this, you may take it with yes, you. Yes, come back to me, Beelzebub. Do you, you want like to maybe resummon Futsunushi? You wish uh, to summon you sure, take it with actually. you. Because I think we can just immediately itemize you. Yes, this will be the will be better weapon. weapon for Akechi, but I don't know if this is mm, I don't think yeah, this isn't worth it in its current form. Not one bit. It seems it will be converted to a weapon. That'd be kinda nice. It seems it will be converted to a weapon. Yeah, if we're gonna take that big, if we're gonna take that much of an accuracy drop with your weapon, uh, Yusuke, we're gonna wait for the better power. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We it might go for the wild hunt here, though, weapon. instead of uh, Gungnir for On, just because. I kind of just like the idea of maybe getting this done and over with now. Okay, wild hunt will take, and we'll resummon Odin. Did you change your compend? You wish to browse the entries. Should be... I keep doing this. Should be fine. Should be fine. Where are you, Odin? Odin, Odin. You wish to summon Odin, you sir. You would like to Come back to me. It. May luck be on your side. All right, we are good to go. Indeed. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the uh, the hustle. Good hustle out there. Let's equip these things real quick. Uh, on, you could take your new gun. The Wild Hunt. Medium chance of despair. That is not half bad. And then we also have Haru's new gun. The Yagrish EX. Upgraded version of the model gun Yagrish. Phenomenal. Phenomenal power. And same amount of accuracy. Alright, we are set. Let's get back. Let's back to the prep room. And now we can continue onward. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably some dudes have respawned, I would imagine. I can feel it. Uh, anybody? Hello? No? No people? Hmm, all right, fine. Fair enough. That is not something to loot. Okay, well, now that we've done this, uh, we can get the hell out of here. We can just walk right back through this door, and then this door, and up the stairs. Progress! Progress has finally been made. There's okay. a strong looking shadow. Yeah, I see him. Ooh, that is locked. Show me your right, that, that guy's done. Victory. Uh, we could probably avoid you. Oh. Also pick this chest up. What do we got in here? The golden dress. Interesting. Now, what does this do exactly, game? Uh, Sumi. You have this, uh, light. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's bad. <laughs> uh, oh, right. We have these sinful bikinis, too. We never looked at the new armor we picked up. Golden dress. Agility plus five. 50 SP. Okay, uh, assuming you get the symbol bikini. Giggity goo. <laughs> right, we got. Uh, lucky underwear. 50 HP. Do you know what? Sure, Akechi, you could take the. Uh, you could take that. Um. You know what? I'm not going to take the other bikini. Haru, you take the golden dress. Well, actually, wait. Mmm, no. Okay, so you go back to the hot and robe. On's gonna take the sinful bikini. But meanwhile, right, you can get your old infantry scarf. That's fine. I'm sure we've got some stuff here that would be useful. Anything? No. Ooh, 
What about Futaba in a Hotten Row? Sure. <laughs> Why not? All right, well, that's uh, a bit better. A bit better, I suppose. Yeah, because uh, Sumiri could really use the extra SP. Her SP count's kind of low, in case you guys haven't noticed. Her her SP and HP are actually kind of low. It's it's kind of weird. There's a strong-looking shadow somewhere. Yeah, I see it, guys. I see it. But there so is a grapple point right there. No, dude. <laughs> Fuck off. I ain't surrendering. I ain't surrendering shit. Though I get the feeling we might have to deal with this guy. Nope. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, screw you, buddy. Yeah, you won't you won't be catching shit. You ain't catching shit. Ooh, hello. What do we got over here? Hold on, is this maybe the way to Ooh? Where the hell are we? I can see it. Oh, you're green, which means you're dead. Hello? Ooh! What do we got here? Break wall. Ha! Ha ha! Just kick out the, kick out the class, classy Joker. Very, very classy. I approve. One of his will seeds. Yes, one of his will seeds is here. All right, there's will seed number two. Sweet. What the hell is Josie gonna make from this? I wonder. The green sorrow seed. That's our second will seed. This is going rather well. Yeah, well, we can get back through here. Uh, <laughs> funny enough, though, we gotta... We gotta come back down this way and go back through the room again to get back up. Oh, well. Oh, God, you know what this means, though? I gotta... I gotta juke that, uh... That red shadow again. Is there, like, another way for us to go here? I don't really want to have to go through this this particular direction. Uh, that right, that is locked. But we can go through these stairs. This, this is the way we need to go. Don't worry, guys. I'm slowly learning the layout of this place. It's taking some time. Trust me, it's, it's taking plenty of time. But we are getting through here. Uh, eventually. Hmm. Boop. All right. We'd be free. And uh, we don't need to go that way. Is that actually all there is up here? I thought there... Mm, okay, I thought there might be more. Alright, can we just oh, like yes. hop down into this room? No? Yes, maybe so? I guess not. Alright, well, great. Uh, looks like we are... In fact, going back down. Lovely. Lovely indeed. Well, if we just go back up here, we can go unlock that door. I thought there might be more up there. Somewhere. I guess that was my uh, my mistake. All right, door. Security lock currently engaged. What was missing that caused the research into cognitive science to be shut down? It was ev oh, evidence. That's what was missing to cause it to be shut down. So the, the funding was just sort of the result, not really the cause of the project being shut down. Authentication complete, disengaging the lock. Yes! Now let's get moving. Oh, come on. What is the next question going to be? What's Maruki's favorite snack? Or something. <laughs> Dude, no need to get so, uh, no need to get so salty. We're doing just fine, Akechi. We're making our way through here. Oh, hello, there's a safe room. I, see it. I could see that immediately. Hold a moment. This is quite the change in environment. Where are we now? This is the psychological exam room. We conduct psychological tests so that we can offer patients the happiest and most ideal realities. If you're interested, please proceed down the hall and through the door to access the information panel. Hmm. An exam room? Like a hospital exam room? Perhaps? What an odd place. Um, the shadows here aren't attacking us. Don't they want to stop us? Strange as it may be, they do not seem hostile to us at all. Furthermore, I admit I'm curious as to what this exam entails. 
Joker, perhaps we can talk to these shadows and gather some useful information. I, I, perhaps. Is there a safe room near? I suppose it's an option. So we can travel to the exam room now. Uh, hey guys, how we doing? You are the Phantom Thieves, I assume. Normally I capture any intruders, but this area is free to any who wish to enter. I will grant you entrance to the exam room, should you so desire. Hmm. Allowing intruders to proceed? How odd. They must be awfully confident in their exam techniques. At any rate, such progression should work in our favor. We should make sure we get our act straight for this. So, what'll it be? Depending on your reply, we'll have to respond accordingly. Uh, what kind of place is this? I see, so you're curious about our facilities. Very well. This is the lobby for the psychological exam room where we determine if patients are mentally sound or not. We find the flaws and potential issues in a patient's heart that even they may not be aware of. Well, and what exactly comprises these examinations? Beyond that hall lies the special exam room. There, each patient answers three simple questions. Touch the information panel to begin the process. Listen to the question and choose the elevator that corresponds with your answer. Please refrain from returning to the previous level until the exam is over, though. Oh. Oh. oh okay. Huh. Interesting. Treatment will be recommended depending on the patient's diagnosis. But this treatment, just like every other step of the process, has been designed with the patient in mind. Do not worry. If no abnormalities are found after the exam's completion, you'll be presented with a small gift. For the sake of your own happiness, we ask that you answer all questions with honesty. Um... So all we have to do is choose the answer we believe to be correct. Although I'm a bit hesitant to find out what they mean by treatment. Examine a person's heart, find their pain and regret, then distort their cognition. This is just the palace version of what Dr. Maruki does in real life. Wait! But if we make a mistake, does that mean they're going to change our cognitions? That's probably confined to the real world. Here they probably mess with people's heads some other way. Like, maybe they just hook you up to some machine and go bzzz. Oh god! Futaba, don't even joke about that! Yeah, don't scare me like that, please! I'm too young to be electric chaired. I see what happens to Lavenza. Whatever his treatment takes, or whatever form his treatment takes, I'm sure we want no part in it for ourselves. Standing here attempting to imagine what won't do us any good, though. Let's take the exam and see where we wind up. <laughs> okay. Sure. I can feel it. Why not? Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I suppose. Um... That receptionist told us to start with the information panel. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Alright then, what do we got here? Hello, patients. Here is your first question. One day at school, you see that your good friend is being led away by a group of scary people. You want to help your friend. But if you could fight them, but if you fight them alone and lose, you could easily get hurt. If you go look for a teacher, there would be no danger to you. But if you don't succeed in time, your friend would most likely get hurt. Which would you do in this situation? A. Go after your friend, or B. Go get help. Once you've made your decision, please take the corresponding elevator. Thank you. Uh... Huh? Neither answer is wrong, though. Yeah, but this is a medical exam, not a school one. They're just trying to figure out whether or not you need treatment. So maybe you go with the answer that you think Dr. Maruki would pick? Hmm. So we have to try and figure out which one Dr. Maruki would pick. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. It's hard to be sure of anything whatsoever right now. Why don't we try asking some of the other patients around here? They may only be cognitive beings, but they still have to take the exam just like we do. Hmm. Right, right. I'm not opposed to just plowing our way through the whole exam, but if you refuse the treatment regimen, whatever it is, they're not gonna take that lying down. TLDR, be ready to fight if it comes down to it. <laughs> Thanks, Futaba. Like I haven't been already. God damn it. Do we have any uh goodies? I don't know. Doesn't really look like it. Uh there is nothing in here. Why is there just like a random room off to the side? Hey, hey, you got a sec? No, oh, yes, how can I help you? Uh, did you decide yet? I uh, chose B. It's sort of embarrassing, but I'm never on the helping side. Someone's always had, someone always is to help me. 
I just don't have the courage to confront somebody. Hmm. So you're the type to ask others for help. I mean, that ain't wrong, but don't you ever think to yourself I want to help them? Of course I do. But even if I had the courage to step in, I might not actually be able to actually help. If that's the case, it's probably best that I go get help from someone else. That way, success is much more likely. Yes. So it's your consideration for others that made you choose B. Well, thank you for your time. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, what about you then over here? Okay. <laughs> Awfully fancy. Uh, yeah, thanks. Have you chosen an answer yet? Definitely A. If someone needs my help, I'm doing what needs to be done. Oh? Is there a reason you didn't even hesitate? My reason? Oh, well. Normally I wouldn't share this with someone I just met, but I was in the exact same situation in the past. The difference is, that time I just acted like I didn't see anything and went on my way. I let my fear control me. Pretty pathetic of me, right? I've regretted it ever since. So I've decided from now on I'm going to help people in need no matter what happens to me. <sighs> yeah, stuff like that can really can make you feel totally horrible. Even if it ends up hurting, it's still better to go with whatever choice you won't regret later. I'm on board. It sounds like the right answer to me. Thanks. Well, that's the reasoning for my answer. Hmm. Well? Now we know both sides of the story. The other one's exactly wrong, right? Gotta get where they're both coming from. What matters is which one Dr. Maruki thinks is wrong. Why don't we collect our thoughts somewhere and talk out our answer? Oh, yeah, we could just go straight into the, uh, the room here on the side. Interesting. So you're telling me we actually have to, like, as a group, parse through this? Kind of come to a uh, decision? Well then. All right, then let's figure this out. So after some investigating, I think they use this place to test patients' mental states with a questionnaire. If they find any abnormalities, they'll force treatment right away. Not sure what it is, but I suspect we should avoid it. Um. So if Dr. Margi thinks we're fine as we are, we get to skip the treatment? Most likely. It may not be easy, but we'll have to try to think like Dr. Maruki whenever coming up with our responses. Uh... Sorry, Joker, but I ain't any good at this kind of stuff. This questionnaire is all yours, dude. Well then. Okay, let's think of how to handle the first question. What do you? Th what should we do, Joker? Okay, let's review what we know. Uh, the strong-willed man. Now then. Go after your friend. He said he'd help any person he might see who's in trouble. He turned a blind eye in a similar situation in the past. His regret is the main reason he would intervene in the future. Indeed. Mm. Standing up to evil to help your friend certainly seems like the right thing to do. That would be correct if this were based on an overly simplistic morals. But this is rather based on Maruki's viewpoint. You may find the man's stance admirable, but would Maruki do the same? Well... Right, the risk factor is what bothers me about this choice. Yeah, I was thinking about this too. So... The whole thing that I'm thinking about is that that strong-willed dude, yeah, what he's doing is not necessarily wrong, but it puts himself at risk, and the other person at risk, and the other people he's fighting off at risk. There's a lot of risk going around with this, and he's sacrificing himself, basically, because of a past trauma, because of regret that he has over his inaction in the past. That sounds exactly like something Maruki would try to change. He would try to make it so that he didn't have that regret, so he would never rush himself headlong into danger in the first place. So go get the other person to help. You'd be likely to be hurt if you ended up failing. You have to consider Dr. Maruki's thoughts about that. Yeah, Dr. Maruki wants to everyone to find their happiness, so that means... Hmm. I guess that's it about for this one. What are your thoughts? Alright, and the reserved man. Now then. There's a chance he wouldn't be able to help his friend alone, so he'd rather find a way to increase the odds. I get what he's saying, but it still bugs me. It's just like he's just running away. But... Yes, but it's not as if his sole priority was avoiding getting hurt. I wonder what Dr. Maruki would think about it. He said it's okay to escape your problem if it becomes too painful. Hmm. hmm. What are your thoughts? Yeah, so it looks like my whole thought on the matter is... is exactly correct. Yep. Raising yourself to help your friend or take the time to find dependable help. Determining which choice is incorrect is quite difficult. And neither choice guarantees your friend's safety, if you think about it. Neither option seems any more successful than the other when it comes to helping your friend. Huh? What do you mean? Do you have a moment? Your friend may end up hurt no matter which answer you choose. So that isn't the deciding factor here. 
The issue is that you may end up getting hurt. That's what we base our decision on. Uh, great, Joker. You, you've totally got this. <sighs> I guess he's done thinking it over. <laughs> Damn it, Ryuji. Oh, God. What's up? All right, let's uh, pick our answer. Yep. Uh, do we? Do you wait. Have a moment? Oh, do we not actually get two? <sighs> yeah, I thought I pressed that What's already. Up? All right, right, we're done here. Okay, well, we're gonna go get help. I mean, this was the first thing that crossed my mind anyway. Let's go get. Let's go take elevator B. Hello. I've been rightly detecting query response. Please proceed to the next room. Ah, excellent. Oh, you too, huh? They're calling this an exam, but all we're doing is walking along this one path. Hmm. No bad news so far. I guess it really was the right answer. So it's better to just run from some shit than to try and help? I don't buy that. <sighs> Maybe it means Margi believes it's best to find a way to avoid being hurt. Yeah, and see, this is... This is where I have a problem with his, uh... With his, with his ideology here. You can't avoid getting hurt in life. Even though getting help, honestly, is probably for the best. I can feel it. In a situation like this, it just, man. Ooh, hello. Ooh, it's a three-prong choice this time. Second question appears to have three possible answers, though. All right, then. Let's find out what we're dealing with this time. Sure. Okay, then. And there's another room for discussion, as well as a tangled USB cord. Nice. All right. Move the wrong end. What would happen to us if we chose it? I guess we may as well check. Uh, hey, buddy. I thought I sent someone. You just need a break. I've been helping patients with no one in sight. This is no good for me. A shadow. It's rather easy to imagine now what would have happened if we had chosen A instead. Looks like we were right. Choosing the answer that Maruki would believe is correct is the safest way for us to advance. Let's just sneak away. It'd be a pain if we had to deal with that. Sure. Well, it's a good thing we got to see anyway. When we come back with some more P5R, we'll continue this uh, questionnaire. Very interesting. Hmm. Strength, award, arts? Uh, mm. There's still weights there, though, on the other one. All right, we're going to need to see what this question is next time. So if you enjoyed, let me know down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, give me your own answers to these questions, because I'd be very curious to hear what people have to say about it. But uh, that is all for me. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. Have a good one, and I will see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.